<laughs> right, that's what they call it. You, you really can't have, have it both ways, can you? Faith is the very opposite of science. Faith is belief in something without evidence. Right. Science in, insists all the time on evidence. It's based upon evidence, logical reasoning from evidence. Faith and science are completely incompatible. You, you think that would be non-controversial, but uh, I, I know throughout history you have people who don't care for science, don't believe in science, have no use for it. It seems like nowadays it's seen as something that is actually threatening. People are, are literally hostile to it. Well, very much so, and, and you see this in the climate change uh, debate, sure. for example, yeah. and you see various... Trump is very Catholic churchy. <laughs> various um, intellectuals who are more or less anti-science and, and extolling the virtues of personal opinion, subjective opinion, as opposed to objective truth. And that's been giving, being given a sort of stamp of, of approval by some academic disciplines. Yeah, I, I know you are fighting this with something, I think it's called the Teacher Institute for Evolutionary Science. Yes. You, you actually are teaching people how to go into schools and teach evolutionary Well, that's biology. right. Uh, um, it's, it's run by a marvelous woman called Bertha Vasquez in, in Florida, who is a teacher. And the, the, the rationale is that middle school teachers uh, have to teach science, and they can teach other parts of science. But when it comes to evolution, they meet hostility from parents, from children, and so they don't dare do it. And so they need to be taught how to teach evolution. So what Bertha does is to run workshops for middle school teachers and prime them, arm them, with how to teach evolution, how to answer the various ridiculous objections that they're going to meet, for example. But when you meet ridiculous objections, they come from ridiculous people. And I know. I, I, and I don't... I, I've never seen a case where logic swayed them. No, but um, these... these, these... <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> I want... I once got into trouble, and in, indeed I was sued for $51 million for saying that people who don't believe in evolution are either ignorant, stupid, or insane. <laughs> now, that was taken as an insult, but actually, of course, it's a simple statement of fact. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, really, it really is. Uh, because by far the most important member of that <laughs> little trilogy is ignorant. Right. We're all ignorant of something. We're all ignorant of... We're all ignorant of most things. We're all ignorant of m most things. I'm certainly ignorant of baseball. Uh, <laughs> and it's something that I would like to remedy, and, right. and somebody can tell me about it. I could. So, <laughs> these Let's people... start with the infield fly rule. <laughs> OK. 